Now, here again are our sets U, A, and B. We note that the cardinality of the set U is A, the cardinality of A is 4, cardinality of set B is 4. And the cardinality of A intersection B, which you recall consists just of the letter D, um, is 1. Okay. Now, based on these numbers, can we prove that A union B can't equal the universal set? Uh, we, if we, you know, systematically generate A union B, we've already seen that it, what what that is, and we can see that it's not equal to the universal set. But not using that fact, just using these numbers, can we prove it? Okay. Well, what do we know? We know that uh, if you have the union of a set A and a set B, the number of elements in that union could be equal to the number in A added to the number in B, but in general it's not so. Why is that? Because the sets often overlap, and if the sets overlap, then if we add the number in A to the number in B, all the elements that are in the overlap or the intersection are counted among the number that are in A, and also among the number that are in B, so we're counting those elements twice. And that doesn't give us the total number of elements in the union. Now, we can prove that by this simple equality that we've talked about, and this just expresses the fact that if you want the number or the cardinality of A union B, you can add the number in A and the number in B, but you have to subtract the number that's been counted twice, and that's the number in the intersection. So in this case, there are four elements in A, so the cardinality is 4, cardinality of B is 4, cardinality of A intersection B is negative 1, and 4 plus 4 minus 1 gives us 7, which is not equal to the cardinality of our universal set. Cardinality of the universal set being 8. <coughs> well, if two finite sets have different cardinalities, they have different numbers of elements, so there's at least one element in one of them that isn't in the other. And that proves that uh, A union B is not equal to the universal set. And some people got that because, of course, there's only one element in common and working on a quiz uh, under a little time pressure. It's kind of easy to miss that one element, but let that make you a little bit more aware of what's going on. Okay, now we'll talk about this picture in the next video.